My older brother convinced me that vampires lived in the basement. So for months, I'd put tons of lotion on my neck for protection, since the lotion tasted terrible. When my brother realized what I was doing, he told me that I was just making my neck more tender for the vampires. My 7 year old daughter just asked me how old were you when you were a kid. I said I was 1, 2, 3, 4 all those ages and she said no oh oh. How old were you when you were my age? I said 7 she then proceeded to have a fit no oh 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 when you were a kid. Bench, daddy, what's jello made out of? Me, well, it's sugar, water, and gelatin, which used to be made out of horses hooves, but now is probably a synthetic man-made compound. Bench, jello is made out of men. Me, bench, is that why it's red? Today a first grader told me that she doesn't need to learn what I'm teaching because she wants to be a pineapple when she grows up. Mom. Why is the part under my peanuts called balls? Well firstly, that's a pants, not peanuts. Haha <laughs> you're so funny Dylan please notice me liked if you're agree. I agree with you. Same. Wait no. How to delete comment. This is embarrassing please tell. 12 year old notes from first day of class. Classroom rules. 1. Sit up. 2. No cherry pits. 3. Use your whole brain or something. I don't know I was drawing when she said. Well. My kids are shut teammates for pub trivia. Apparently Superman's only elemental weakness is a cranium. Remembering that one time in kindergarten. Where I gave the invitations to my birthday to my teacher who handed them out. After noticing not everyone got one. One girl asked why she didn't get one. I replied. Because I don't like you. I wish I still had that level of confidence. I remember when I was 6, I got a hold of my dad's ID, and it had an expiration date. Spent 3 hours crying, because I thought that he was set to die on that date. He asked me why I was crying, and I didn't tell him, because I was scared he was gonna cry as well. My mom got fired from her job when I was little, and I cried because I thought that meant they were going to light her on fire. When I was 6, my parents told me I had a doctor appointment, so I would leave early from school to get a shoot, and I thought it meant that I was going to the doctor to literally get shoot. My cousin one time was singing a song, and I heard it on the radio the next day. I was so proud of him thinking it was his song lol how disappointed I was when I found out people were allowed to sing songs they didn't write. No I really used to think artists was lined up at the radio station singing the songs live. When I was a kid, my mom had a bleeding ulcer and couldn't move. My bro and I called 911 and the emergency response came to get her. She was admitted, then was sent home with a clean bill of health. A few days later I called 911 to tell them she was doing much better, in case they wanted to know. When I was like 5, I was in the car with my mom, and she was drinking a water bottle. I thought that was drinking and driving. So I proceeded to tell everybody that my mom drinks and drives all the time. You nearly went to foster care. Bro year 7 me was wild. After school detention. Reason. Pretending to have slex with the table. Repeatedly asked to stop but carried on. I taught my 5 year old son my phone number and his dad's. And one day we were joking saying he could watch himself. He goes but what if there is a fire and I need to call 911. You never taught me that number. LMAO. He's definitely not ready LMAO. Actual message I sent my son's pre-k teacher. My dad asked me to clear this up before he picked my son up from school. Arky has a police costume and he's very into playing police right now. We made him a ticket book and he loves to give us pretend tickets. He's given my dad, Pop Pop, a slew of tickets, then told him he had to go to chair jail, sitting on a chair, because of unpaid tickets. Lately he's been telling people that Pop Pop is in jail, period, not chair jail, or that it's pretend play. He said he mentioned this at school. At any rate, I'm not judging anyone in prison, but my father is not, nor has he even been in jail. I just wanted to give you a heads up in case you heard this.
Oh my god I told a 7 year old to be quiet, and he said literally 1984, and I burst out laughing. How am I supposed to be serious after that? I'm dead I love this generation. When I was 10 years old, I decided I wanted to make money and thought to sell something to do it. My bright idea to do this was to spend a lunch period collecting walnuts from the trees outside my school, walk to the nearby convenience store, bump 200 plus walnuts on the counter, and ask him to buy them from me. I made no money that day, why would you do that? Redditors with toddlers. What's the most recent illogical breakdown they've had? He loved being tickled, so I was tickling him one day. He let out a urge fart, and suddenly started crying and screaming. I ask him why he's screaming, and he replies with, I was saving that for later. How and why would you save a fart? What? You don't bump your toys out, so you can watch TV in a box 3 inches away, and break your neck. When my son was in P2 I got called to the school, and told my son was dark dealing in the playground. I was horrified thinking someone had gave him something outside of school, and asked him to sell it to his schoolmates. We should had taken his vitamin C tablets to school, and was selling them 5 pence a tablet. Got to admire his entrepreneurial skills. My cousin's son sent me a request to guess the drawing. I'm completely lost. Guess what this is a drawing of? Campfire? No. Just watched my kid eat a popsicle, and he didn't even have a napkin, so he took off his sock and wiped his mouth. Brilliant. When my sister was young, my parents had to go somewhere in the evening for a few hours, and told her to never open the front door for anyone. Fast forward that evening when the doorbell rings. Sister, you have to come around the back, because I may not open the front door. Deal with it. H. 7 year old. Mom. What's a humanitarian? B. 6 year old. I got this ma. It's like a vegetarian. But they eat humans. Hash shut my kids say. Horrified or proud? What did you think would happen? I found my nephew like this. Stupid and yet it's also cute. My son drew on my desk then tried to cross it out. Help. I lost the freaking kids. I was at a trampoline park earlier today, and I saw a little girl at the foam pit crying. Apparently she was crying, because she wasn't allowed in the dodgeball area. I watched as she slowly buried herself in the foam. It was quite funny. Kind looked like this. Duck it I'm ma say it anyway. When I was like 425 I had this kinda rollish house with a nice basement, and one day I went down there there happened to be a big ace cockroach. So me, being a little dumb ace, picked it up, walked up to my mom, very afraid of most bugs, saying look I found a friend, she screamed, took out a newspaper, and smacked the shut out of the roach. Then straight after I just go you killed my friend. According to my mom, and was sad for like 10 minutes, and went back to being an idiot. When my baby cousin was one, when she would hit her head on something she wouldn't cry, unless you said oh no, and then she would start crying. Truly wonderful the mind of a child is. In kindergarten two of my classmates were fighting, and I saw an episode of Kim Possible where the Nick Mole Rat got urge, and hanged two people's heads together, so being the genius I was I went over to them, and hanged their heads together to make them stop. I was so confused as to why my teacher wouldn't give me a good behavior sticker for the day. I bowled over that sticker. When I was younger I used to think that all these celebrities don't have a bet hole or a pee hole. That they don't peep, pee, fart, burp or have earwax, nose mucus. My perception was that they weren't humans but someone above humans. What did he say? Gari. 5. One time I saw Gari trying to feed his leftover chocolate pudding to an Optimus Prime action figure. What's wrong with this kid? I would never do that. Camden. Mommy me want to name my fish a bad word. Me. What do you want to name your fish? You can say the word. Cam. Me want to name him. Bullshut. Listen here you little shut. Son. R I got inked. 5 year old daughter. Singing. 
What is ink? Son. That black stuff. Daughter. What kind of black? Dark black. Or light black? I think it's time I share this. When I was a kid, I called my mom on the phone to tell her the kitchen is on fire and asked how to put it out. She of course panicked like hell. A few seconds later, proceeded to say that was playing Sims 2. My Sims 2 kitchen was burning. Time to call Sherlock Holmes on the case. The kids blamed the footprints on the dog. Looking sharp. I.e. Dip them in ranch kid. Attempting to cool down hot chips. A horse. I drew when I was 6. Going for a swim in the bathroom. When I was a kid, I thought sticking middle finger was a fancy way of counting to 1. So when I was at a restaurant the waitress asked me how many bread slices I wanted. I stuck up my middle finger and then said 1 please. My dad was cracking up and my mother was horrified. The waitress wanted to laugh but was holding it in when I got home. My dad asked me where I learned it from and what it means. Isn't it a fancy way of showing one? I learned it from my dad by the way. Here's me trying to imitate my dad. When I was a kid, I tried to copy paper. I put a blank sheet of paper in the copier and thought it would make more paper. From the mouth of my 7 year old cousin. Do you know what the middle finger means? Yes. It means the H word, but don't tell mommy I told you. N. No. Actual text from my 7 year old nephew. Happy birthday Vivian. Is it tomorrow buddy? Not today silly. Today is Callus birthday. I know. So I won't have to tell you tomorrow. Wow thanks buddy. You're the first one then. Happy birthday. For the last 14 minutes my toddler has been running into the room screaming and in tears. Saying that something was biting him. I check him over and could find no incidents of a bite or anything in his play area. It turned out that he thought the crocodiles on his new shirt were biting him. Included with this post is a photo of him clearly being mauled by crocodiles. He is recovering with a plain t-shirt. The way my son eats pizza is illegal in 7 states. One third when I was 7. I found a urge prehistoric rock. My grandma put it on the family bookshelf and I told everyone. Cousins. Visitors. Burglars. About my geological discovery. It was smooth on one side. Possibly due to erosion. But it could have been a meteorite. What if I got superpowers? When I was a child I left instructions for the tooth fairy. Take card. Please put money in bag. Thank you. Thanks for all of the teeth you have took and the money you have gave to me. Task. Write a creative story to go along with the picture. Title. How to catch a butterfly. There was a girl looking for butterflies. She was using a butterfly net to catch them. Then the girl went home and then she cooked the butterflies. Then she ate the butterflies. Going through old stuff and found something truly horrifying. The clock hugs the hands. And the hands hug the numbers. Michael G. My niece found some scissors today. When I was about 8 I read a book about Abraham Lincoln. It mentioned the old story about how he grew a beard. Because a little girl told him he'd be more attractive and the ladies would tease their husbands to vote for him. Because, you know, women couldn't vote at the time. Well, I guess I didn't know times had changed so much in 150 years, because I asked my mom one day if I run for president, when I grow up, will dad and grandpa and all my uncles vote for me? She said, yes, probably, us ladies probably would, too. And that was how I learned that women have the right to vote. Not that long ago me and my cousin went to Flamingo Land. We were on the pterodactyl, and at the top he pointed to the rhinos in the zoo, and proudly said look at the hippos. Sonny. You're 14 years old. Get your life together bro. That's not how you ride a moving car. When I was like 5 to 6 I was obsessed with finding out what happens if you eat yourself. Like I would think it every time I had nothing to do when I went to bed, and pretty much always in general. 
I even drew diagrams on what would happen if you ate yourself I was that obsessed. I thought if I discovered it, I would get a lot of money which is why I never asked anyone. Because I thought they would realize they can tell the scientists and the money for themselves. Yes I was that dumb. One day I asked my dad what happens when you eat meat. He told me that in meat there is protein. And it helps so you grow so after that I worked out that I, you ate yourself you would grow bigger. So one day I wrote a letter about my discovery and wrote my address for the money. I then addressed it to scientist and folded the paper and wrote lab on the front. Then I slipped the piece of paper outside the door. We lived in an apartment and thought that maybe a mailman would come and he would deliver my mail to a lab nearby. It never happened I was thinking about writing another letter. Thankfully I grew out of that phase before writing another. Truly wonderful the mind of the child is. When I was around 3 years old I thought it would be a good idea to test how hot a grill would be. So I walked up to the grill and placed my hands on it. I got 3rd degree burns and went to the hospital. When I was a kid I thought only one person could watch TV at a time so whenever I was watching nobody else was. When I was a kid I thought men couldn't cry and women couldn't beep. I saw a movie where a dude cried and I asked my mom why and how is he crying. I was also shocked when I heard my sister pooped her pants because I thought she couldn't peep. Also also in class my teacher gave us a dictionary and I saw a sketch of a meek women and I taught women had pences and was shocked and then tried to correct my friends when they said they don't. I was a stupid kid. I remember this one time when I was 8 years old. I decided that I got bored of using the pointer finger to point at various things, so I decided that another finger should take its place. Which one did I pick? The middle finger. I didn't know what it meant in slang term at the time. I only picked it because it was right next to my old pointer finger. I literally pointed my middle finger out like you would with the pointer finger. So when I walked up to all of my friends, telling them about the new pointer finger, it didn't take long for me to get in trouble for this. But since no one explained what it meant, I proceeded to use this new pointer finger for a solid month. I was the golden level of idiocy. What would go through a person's mind to take that picture? Um I'm already sins undertale. Funny you said something about spirits, cause I can actually see spirits. It's so bad that I sleep with a blanket over my head so I don't have to see them. The toilet paper rolled down when she used it. Rolling it back properly seemingly was a challenge. She is 8. Mom. Those sticks in your lunch. Did you eat them? Capres a skewers. 10 year old. Ah uh, no. Mom. R I didn't think you would but I wanted to try it. 10 year old. My lunch was great though I really liked the cheese. The cheese was on said skewers. Mom. Wait what? Did you eat what was on the skewers? 10 year old. Yeah. I didn't eat the sticks though. Why would I do that? A story I wrote on Microsoft Word when I was 10. Good Samaritan. Someone threw litter on the floor no one knows who or why but no one picks it up. A crowd or little nursery children run past they just look at it but don't do anything and they keep on skipping past. Then a bunch of teenagers walk past but they just are too busy texting they just look at it then look away. Then a cleaner walks past she doesn't do anything except look at it then pretend she didn't see it. Finally one very busy office man walks past he looks at it looks away then quickly runs up to the litter and puts it in the bin. Moral of the story pick litter up. So busy people don't have to. Shout out to the time I tried to make milk at my uncle's. Yes I thought I could make milk like some alchemy shut. What did I put in this to attempt to make milk? Sugar. Sprinkles. Fat from the trip tip we had that night water and orange juice. 3D flag. Maybe there used to be technology. Two year old. It's football. They play football. Is this works with real baby? Asking for my baby cousin. Why the duck is your eye like that? It automatically does. That when you add the cowboy energy. I don't believe you. I'm Martry myself. Duck I'm an idiot. 
My older sister and I would hold contests for our stuffed animals when we were around 8 to 10 years old. I would get out my little boombox and play a CD and we would make our stuffed animals dance or do tricks and stuff like that. Typically these contests were soundtracked by Linus Morissette's Jagged Little Pill and the Beatles' Abbey Road. It was nearing my mom's birthday and my sister and I had the idea to give her a Bon Jovi CD. Except after we got it, we decided to open it early and use it for one of our contests. And then our mom walked in on us and discovered her birthday present. 15. Mommy. What if they aren't stars? Me. Huh? 15. What if their holes poked in the top so we can breathe? Me. Duck. My teacher's conversation with her son about pool tentacles. Atlas. Have you put the tentacles in the pool? Me. What? Atlas. The tentacles that burn if you touch them. Me. Chemicals. I put chemicals in the pool. Atlas. You call them that. I'm just gonna call them tentacles. My youngest hacked our Netflix parental code. She put light grease on the remote and got me to input the code when she wasn't looking. Then she noted the numbers I'd pressed and went through the combinations later. I'm both frightened and impressed. My daughter asked why she can't just quit school and I told her it's against the law and they'll put me in jail and my sweet sweet child looked me in the eye and said I'll visit you 